Have the patient lay down in a comfortable place where you can easily access the driveline. You are then going to clean off the bedside table with an antimicrobial wipe. Allow to air dry. While the table is drying, wash your hands with soap and water for 30 seconds. Next, we're going to gather our supplies. We are going to need one split gauze packet, two gauze pad packets, one bottle of phase one, a pair of sterile gloves, also a pair of non-sterile gloves, masks for yourself and the patient, and a roll of Metaphor tape. If phase one is irritating to your skin, you may also use a bottle of saline. You carefully open the split gauze and two gauze pads. With your non-sterile gloves on, loosen and remove the old dressing. Inspect the exit site for signs of infection. Discard your gloves and old dressing. Now place your pair of clean gloves on. We're going to spray the driveline exit site with the phase one product and allow it to soak for a recommended 60 seconds. Next step is to spray the additional gauze until it's wet, not soaked. We're going to remove our gloves and apply sterile gloves. Use the pre-moistened phase one gauze to remove any buildup, working your way from the center outward and allow to fully dry. If irritation is occurring at this point, you can rinse the area with sterile saline. Once the site is dry, tuck the split gauze under the drive line at the exit site. Cover with the remaining gauze pad. You may now remove your sterile gloves and cover the remaining part of the dressing with Metaphor tape. It's a good idea to write the date on your dressing.